Hey, what's up, everybody? Victor again with Canine Peak Solutions. I'm actually on my way to an appointment, and I thought I'd give you some some good um, information. And today we're going to talk about the importance of um, having your pets, your dogs, uh, waiting for food. Okay. What do I mean by waiting for food? Um, what I mean by that is not allowing, you know, just food being sit out or sitting out, and the dog just leisurely eats as they want, as they like. Uh, we don't want to do that. Um, we want them to wait for food and eat when we tell them to eat. When we, you know, we put them on a schedule. Whether it, you're feeding your dog once a day, whether you're feeding your dog um, twice a day, which is the most common, um, three times a day, whatever it is, you're putting that dog on a schedule, and the dog is eating um, when you tell them to. Okay, and that's that's part of it. So the other part of it is actually having the dog wait patiently before going to the food. Or, um, you know, just kind of a lot of dogs now, you, you'll see some people that have to put the food down really quick and then move their hand really uh, fast out the way. We don't want that. We want to teach a dog that they need to sit and stay there until we tell them and we release them to, to go ahead and eat. Um, so th these are all very, very important things. And the reason why they're so important, because what this does, this is this is the this starts establishing um, your your role as a leader. Um, within the home with um, as the leader of the, the dog okay where the dog is looking for guidance uh, being told when to eat um, if you're having problems this is one thing that's like really necessary that you must do if you're having you know aggression problems if you're having problems uh, where your dog isn't isn't behaving the way you want you know not listening this is something that's important because again it's going to establish that relationship you start building that response that response from the dog where the dog understands okay dad's in charge mom's in charge i eat when they tell me to um that stuff is very very important okay um and it's very simple to teach very simple to teach um also what you, what you want to do is um you want to start kind of teaching the dog and children um that they can't especially children they can't start approaching a dog whenever they're eating so now advocation is huge as well it's equally as important so what i mean by advocation is just getting the dog to understand that hey we're going to look out for you um we're not going to just allow kids and, and people just come up to your food while you're eating out of respect for the dog you know just like us we don't we wouldn't want just random people coming up to our food and, and, and taking our plates away you know so out of respect and, and to prevent any issues advocating for the dog when they're eating is important and also telling teaching children hey when the dog is eating just leave the dog alone there's no reason you know to go in there and start grabbing the dog's food and try to take the dog's you know bowls bowls away water bowls away you know you can teach them an out command and that's what i do where if i need to i never really approach the, the bowl while the dog is eating i teach an out command where if the dog is eating and I simply say out, they need to leave the bowl alone. They need to disengage from it. Then I can go and pick it up. You know, I don't want to cause that conflict. I don't want to cause that tension where, you know, I'm trying to reach in while the dog's eating. It's, it's just not fair. That's how you, you know, rightfully so, the dog um, can bite you. And, you know, um, those are just some quick tips that I wanted to talk about really quick. Um, the importance of waiting for food. All right. Um, I have videos on how to teach your dog to wait for food, too. So. Alright, if you have questions, let me know and I'll talk to you guys later. I'll see you in another video. Take care.